about ready to go here in uh, what should be an intriguing game in conditions which may prove testy. There are plenty of talking points around this game, but not the least of them is the snow that we have had. There were concerns that it could cause the match to be called off. I'm glad to report that hasn't been the case. The pitch has been well cleared, but the conditions will certainly add an extra dimension to the competition. Quite a picture here inside Ibrox, nor would you expect anything else. We have already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Of course, Manuel Neuer. He doesn't just dominate his area, Peter, he seems to control the whole of the defensive third. He's excellent at mopping up any balls that make it through that defensive line. And what's more, he can often turn those interceptions into lethal counter-attacks too. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Lovely feet. Whipped in. Natko. Germany seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? Oh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Brandt. And here's correct. He's had a go! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Kivik. Hoists it forward. Zahavi so desperately wants to get on the end of this. Not until half time, and it is still goalless. And it's Sahavi. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be outmuscled. Brandt. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Back on the first 45 minutes. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Werner. Defending of the desperate variety. Brandt is the guilty party there. Keeper's got good distance on that. Still nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here. It is nil-nil. Chip through. Goretzka. Now the counter. Kimmich. Kimmich. Spreads it towards the left. Gets the better of his man. Cleared away. And now they can launch a counter.
Ginter goes looking. Has he found his man? Germany really are defending from the front. They are, and this type of pressing is a, a case of counter-attacking a counter-attack. It's high octane and high pressure, high fitness. Finds himself eased off the ball. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And that has been cleared. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. There are a few waiting for it. Israel showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Kimmich. Ginter. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Now it's Gundogan. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Gets good distance on it. And time.